So, Paul in Philemon has been laying out for us the priorities, practices, principles of the church in Colossae. Its values, its, its, its DNA. I hadn't thought to say that, but I think that's what I mean. What matters to it, what makes it what it is, what makes it function the way it does in the plans and purposes of God. That church, located in Colossae, meeting in Philemon's home around 600 AD. So how did they roll? Apostolic teams, big emphasis. Shared ministry, as ministry grew around the edge of the apostolic team, was like a rolling rock, people peeling off and making runs in other directions strategically. House churches, because having a church building is weird. It's a new perspective, isn't it? Some young church planter type bloke elsewhere Facebook me having listened to the message time before last, and he said, oh, so it can be okay not to have a building. Perhaps it's not such a problem to us. No, it was the biblical law. House church is saturated, conditioned by grace. Conditioned by grace. Saturated with grace. Making our responses to one another and to the people outside of here on the basis of the way grace works. Work right through. And now what Paul is doing is he's picking up what that impacted by grace thing means. Paul has gone on and he's picked up in verses 6, 5, 6, 7, isn't it? How, how Philemon and his life and the way he's behaving, how that indicates that he has been impacted by grace. The impact that God's grace has had on Philemon. You're doing this, he says. That shows the impact of God's grace on you. Impacts that further characterize the practice of the early church that indicate the genuineness and reality of the Christian faith and experience. Because the impact of grace on his church brings out things in us, love, grace, mercy, tenderness, compassion, bring out things that make it clear to people who are watching that God is for real. So we go the easy route far too often and we say, well, God is for real and this is why the New Testament documents are reliable and God is for real and this is the evidence for the resurrection. And actually, what Paul is saying about the church in Colossae that meets in Philemon's home is the, the evidence for the grace of God is seen in what you like. The way God has changed you. The way the grace of God now runs right through you like the letters through the stick of rock. Paul doesn't know that because he was never blessed with the stick of rock. But, <laughs> but you get the general impression, right? It's the impact of God's gospel on God's people that is the evidence that God is for real and that love, love is the evidence that we're his disciples, says Jesus. As we saw last time, we've done all this in previous weeks. Please refer to the resources on the internet. Right, okay, so love for all God's people, faith in the Lord Jesus, joy and encouragement created by those things, by the way that hospitality and refreshing the hearts of the saints expresses the impact of the grace of God on human Community. Christian community. The evidence of the grace of God. I got this last week from a young man who watched a sermon extract from last week. Why don't young people go to church? Want to go to church? Here's the quote. Ready? Hey Simon. This is the way young people talk to one another, I believe. Hey Simon. Pastor. We would say pastor. Could I have a word? Wouldn't we? Yeah, that's not that. But no. Hey Simon. That's fine. I listened to your sermon on why, you don't, why wouldn't young folk go to church. Interesting stuff, really good points. I think you're really onto something with people seeing that it's real. See, perhaps in our generation, perhaps a little later, people wanted slick presentation, they wanted thorough, whatever, right? You had to look, right? And now you look at all the videos they're putting up and they're all grainy and gritty and sharp cuts and, you know, nothing fades or goes nicely. It's all ch -ch -ch, real, authentic. People want real. I think what many people around me think is a system which says things which sound right in the middle class, and any scandal that has arisen is swept under and everyone carries on. It's not a sentence, but that's usual with young people these days anyway, Whistleberg. I find this especially in prayer. And myself too. The reality in relating to what he's saying. Why do I use different lingo when speaking to God? I can't believe that you do. <laughs> there is now, he says, a deep scepticism of falsehood. 
And I think that a real love for each other is a way to show past that. Thanks again for a great way to start the Monday. Bless you too. Bless you a lot. Yeah. Real. The love, the compassion, the care, the community. So now in verses 8 to 22, Paul wants to put that community in action. Let's see it again, he says. 